Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the detergent dispenser in a GE dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 8 open end wrench, a 5 16 and a quarter inch nut drivers, Phillips screwdriver, a patty knife, a pair of 5 30 seconds Allen wrenches, and a pair of needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new detergent dispenser. The detergent dispenser is installed on the dishwasher's inner door. It operates by the main control board and dispenses the detergent and the rinse agent on command. The main reason why the detergent dispenser would need to be replaced is if it's broken and the dispenser door won't open automatically or it won't get closed. To get to the part, we need to open the door. To remove the dishwasher, we need to take out a couple of Phillips screws that uh, hold it to the countertop. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case uh, the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use a container or the towel. All right, now we're gonna pull out the dishwasher. I'm gonna hold it here and slowly pull it out. Lift it up. Now we're gonna tilt this uh, dishwasher back and kind of jam it under the counter. So make sure it's not going to slide down on the floor. Now we need to remove this uh, kick panel. Uh, there's two quarter inch screws, one on each corner. I'm going to take them out using the nut driver and simply take it off. Now we can unplug the door harness from the main control board. Push down on the locking tab and disconnect the plug. Next, we're going to unclip the wire harness from the tub. And let it hang. Now we're going to take out two quarter inch screws at the bottom of the door. We're going to place the dishwasher upright. And we're going to put it under the counter. So it would not tilt forward. And then we're going to open the door approximately 27 degrees or so until the two holes will match. Then using the 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, we're going to jam the door. And now we're going to go on the opposite side, do the same thing. So using the second 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, I'm going to place it into this hole here. And now we're going to move uh, up and remove the door. Push the door in and lift it off. I'm going to put the door on the table, on a workable surface. Our next move would be to remove the silverware basket. Now we need to remove this vent cap. I'm going to use the uh, needle nose pliers and uh, open it, put it here, and turn it counterclockwise to unscrew. Now we need to remove two quarter inch screws at the base of the inner door. To separate the doors, we need to hold the inner door and pull on the outer door. 
And then we can lift the inner door off. All right, now we need to remove this uh, foam block. I'm gonna use a uh, putty knife. We're gonna cut the round because it's glued. All right, and put it aside. I'm gonna press down the uh, locking tab and disconnect the power plug. Put it aside. Next, I'm going to take six quarter inch screws out to release the uh, detergent dispenser. Lift the frame off. So lift up the door and we're going to remove the detergent dispenser. This is the old detergent dispenser next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Before I'm going to install a new detergent dispenser in, I'm going to check if the door opens properly. Press on its release button and guess what? It works. I'm going to close it, turn it over. And I'm going to put it under the door. Before installing the new detergent dispenser, make sure that the cutout is clean. There's no debris, no calcium deposits. And then we are going to place it in. Hold it. And then I'm going to grab it from the inside and put it down. Then I'm going to place on the mounting uh, frame. These two tabs goes into the cutouts on each side. Drop it in. I'm going to lift on that uh, detergent dispenser. And I'm going to place a couple of screws to hold it on a diagonal. And I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to tighten them. And turn the door over and see if that uh, dispenser is sitting properly. There's no gaps anywhere. All right, that's good. And place it back. And we're gonna install the rest of the screws. I'm gonna start with the corner again. Next, I'm going to plug in that uh, power plug next I'm going to place the foam block over the uh, dispenser press it down and now we're going to join the inner and outer doors together all right so uh, pay attention this is the outer door this is the inner door we'll have uh, cuts on both sides of the outer door and we'll have a tabs on both sides of the inner door. So these hooks are going to lock into this cuts out. And place the door on the top. There's a number of uh, cuts in, in this uh, outer door panel on the top which is matching with the tabs on the control panel on the both sides. So we're gonna lock the tabs on the door and then we're gonna push it forward. I'm gonna turn the, the door over. And now we're gonna secure these panels together. We use a uh, couple of quarter inch screws. Now it's the time to place the vent cap back on and uh, turn it clockwise to Screw it on. I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to tighten it. Now we're going to install the silverware basket back on. Now we're going to lift off the door from the table and install it onto the dishwasher. All right, now we're going to install the door on the hinges. Keep it almost vertical, slide it down, and open it until it goes all the way down. And now we can remove the Allen wrenches. 
and close the door. Tilt the dishwasher back up again. And now we're gonna secure the door with uh, two quarter inch screws. Now we're gonna clip on the door wire harness onto the tub. Yeah, two clips. And uh, now we're gonna connect the uh, harness to the main control board. Clip it in and it clicks and locks. Now we're gonna install the kick panel back. And lift it up so it will clear the the leveling legs at the bottom. And I'm gonna secure it with a couple of quarter inch screws. Right now I'm gonna put it uh, put the dishwasher upright and we can uh, place it under the counter. Now we're gonna duck under the counter and pull out the drain line, water supply line and the power cord. And we can continue installing the dishwasher. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench and then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. And next we're going to secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a couple of Phillips screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver and I'm gonna tie it up so it wouldn't go anywhere. And now we can close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.